Hello everybody and welcome back to Skip Allen Paints. This is a series of videos about what's new in Painter X3. Well guess what folks, I've been asking for and lots of other folks who like to play with animation have been asking for the onion skin uh, option to be fixed. We lost it after, we lost it in Painter 12 and now it has been fixed in Painter 13 or X3. So what I've done here is the first thing I did is I went up to movie and I clicked on new movie and that gave me the option of setting up a movie with my uh, onion skins, which is what I did. So I'm going to cancel this. Here is the movie set up with uh, five potential onion skins. And the way I'm going to do this is I have uh, some images already in the already in the file these butterfly three images of a butterfly and we'll show how i would make it go across the screen so what we're going to do first is we're just going to click on this button which is advance one click on it and there you have it once i close the eye here then now i have onion skin to show your onion skin be sure to know see show onion skin up in the movie section Okay, so then I'll open up the second one, and because I can see the onion skin, I want to be on that layer, I can move it over a bit in front of the other one, and I think I'll come down the page a little bit. And then I just click on Move Next Frame, turn that one off, and now I can see the uh, movement come down to the next one, slide it across and down a little bit. I'm kind of making this a bit far in between, but I wanted to try and get something shown right away. We'll turn that one back off, come up to the next one, turn it on, move this a little bit forward, another frame, and we turn that one off and see we're still seeing the, uh, we're seeing four of the uh, onion skin and so I want to now come up to the next one open it up move it where it should be and we'll add it to the stack and one of those disappeared so the other one could be added and then we just keep doing this um, until we get across the page or wherever we're going. Um, but having the onion skin back makes a big, big difference. Uh, uh, Y'all don't need to watch me do this over and over, so we'll stop on this one. Turn that off. Now I'm going to go up to movie and not going to show the onion skin. I'm going to set the playback at about four, three, uh, three frames per second because we've only got a couple there. Let's bring it on down to two frames per second. Okay, so now I'll play the movie. And see, you can see it going across the page. Now, if I stop that, all right, now it's stopped. Okay, so what I want to do is speed this up just a little bit. We'll go up to about uh, six frames per second, and we'll play again. There you go, you get the idea of the animation. Okay, that's it for animation, but before we leave this uh, animation uh, stuff, I'd like to tell you two other things that are new, and I thought it would be easier than adding one more video. We have some extra stuff in here. We have, uh, let me close the color sets. We have, um, if we look under papers, and under the default papers, under watercolor papers, 
you have some new papers that have been added, Window Frost, Madness, and Featherland. You also have these as patterns and as flow maps. And then the final announcement that I'd like to make is that they have added, uh, the Mac is still in a 32-bit situation. It's not, uh, Corel Painter is not 64-bit for the Mac, where it is 64-bit for the PC. But we've added, or they've added a, um, an enhancement so that you can utilize the extra memory and so forth on Macs that you would not be able to utilize uh, because it's 32-bit. But they've made that so that the Mac users can be able to use their computers at, at uh, comparable speeds to what the PC can use. Okay, that's it. That's the last video about what's new in Painter X3. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you love X3. I do. Bye-bye.